Hey everybody, I'm David Henry from LearnStageLighting.com and in this video I want to show you how to mix lighting colors in your console and with your fixtures. Alright, so this is going to be uh, for those of you whether you're using a professional level console or something really basic or something on your computer, um, regardless of you know what exact console you're using, um, I just want to kind of go through the basics of how to make colors with your lighting fixtures and I'm gonna start first with some LED fixtures alright so LED fixtures um, at their simplest you know are gonna have red green and blue LEDs alright and some like this one are also going to have white and so we're able to mix a variety of different colors and you know these are fixtures where the more intense your color is, the, meaning the higher percentage you have on of the LEDs, the brighter it's going to be because it's additive color mixing. All right, so don't worry if, if that doesn't make sense to you. Don't get lost in the technical, but you know it's important to note that hey, we can mix red. Like I said, if we mix red and green together, we get yellow. If we turn that down, less green, we get orange. Or if we turn green up, turn red down, we get kind of a nice grassy green. All right. If we do red and blue, you're going to see at full, we get a nice magenta. You bring that blue down, you know, turns into a pink. You bring the red down, it turns into a nice violet. Now, if we do um, green and blue, bring this up, this green here. See, when they're both at full, you get a nice cyan. Bring that blue down. You get kind of a Kelly green. Bring the green down. You get a cyan or a nice teal going on. And, uh, you know, no matter what color we've got in here, say we're, we're mixing this teal, we add the white in, it's going to get more pale, which is good for skin tones, of course, but, you know, not as good if you want to create a really interesting look with bold colors. So that's important to note as well. And, um, you know, you can mix a lot of different colors with LEDs and it makes them a lot of fun. And when you mix a really intense color like full on red or this deep amber, it's going to be pretty bright. Now, the other type of lights that are out there, as I turn these off, are subtractive color mixing lights. And so what makes them different? Well, we turn them on, bring them up at full. They're white. Why is that? Because it's a white source. In this case, it's a moving light spot that has a white source. And then it has cyan, magenta, and yellow color mixing flags in it. And so what's this mean for us? Well, this means that unlike the LED, our deeper colors are going to also be darker. All right, so I've got yellow up. I bring cyan in. It's green but it's going to be darker than a full-on LED green. Also, if I do cyan, bring in magenta here, you see I get blue, but it gets really dark as compared to when I bring up that LED blue, it's quite bright. And so you bring all three colors in, it goes away. And now I'll show you, um, do magenta and yellow, you get red. And so... That's just something to be thinking about as, as you're programming lights or working with the lighting. When you program a really bold color into your moving head spots, you're go it's going to be darker than it is, um, if it's subtractive color mixing, rather, than an additive color mixing fixture, right? And sure, LEDs are taking over today, but we're still seeing, you know, new fixtures come out even if they're you know, an LED white source with CMY flags, or, you know, maybe you've got a moving head spot that has a colored LED source. And so, you know, on the market today, we see a variety of different options out there. But, you know, when you sit down to your console to start mixing colors, just keep in mind that, you know, even if you click your finger on that color wheel and say, all lights blue, you may want to change. You may want to, you know, desaturate your subtractive lights a little, you may want to tweak those colors so that you get the most light output you can get. Um, a lot of times that's going to be what you want. Sometimes it's going to be usable. And so I just encourage you, you know, play around and get to understand 
how CMY, the subtractive mixing systems, versus the RGB additive systems work together and begin to add to your lighting and, and really work with that and figure out how you can mix some colors in new ways. And if you guys liked this video, hey, I've got a whole post that talks about colors and lighting over at LearnStageLighting.com that I've linked here as well as below and I want you to check out. Also, if you like this video, subscribe here on YouTube. Um, I'll have more videos like this and you'll get to see all my newest stuff as it comes out. So I'll see you guys here and I'll see you on LearnStageLighting.com. Bye.